What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Thursday's updates and content drop. Today we're going to be taking a look firstly at reviewing uh, the Epic Legends and also we have got the International Cup Player of the Week. So basically World Cup Player of the Weeks. There's, some, uh, there's a couple of strange choices. Remember, this is a week ago, so uh, it is a week kind of behind, so to speak. Um, so yeah, there are a couple of strange choices, but there are also a couple of really good players in here, especially if you're newcomers, lads. If you're newcomers, you should be spinning for these if you have the coins. You know, if you have the login bonuses and you want to stay free to play, you can actually do the event and get a free spin at this. And you can also, I'll have a video on that, and you'll also have uh, the event where you can do the online event and the international cup events the two of those the under 20 100 one and the other one and you get 200 coins so you can get three free spins on this but anyway right we're going to go in and we're going to review it we're going to start with kind of like worst to best and i'm going to have my picks out here we are going to start with Boca in goals uh again not a very very good keeper lads you're going to have to you know be like i think desperate to uh to use a keeper like this Look, he's free, obviously, if you get him on the free spins or anything like that. If you do get him, he probably is going to be worth, you know, put, pumping into your team. And he'd probably be better than most other players that you have if you're a newcomer. But if you've even been playing the game for a week or two and you've done some of the events, you should be able to get a better keeper than this. He's got no player skills except for low punt. No play styles, obviously, as a goalkeeper. He's got standard form and that reflexes and parrying is very, very low. Uh, for what you need so yeah he's definitely a pass McAllister from Argentina he's kind of lit up uh, Argentina's team with a bit of with a bit of vigor lads he hasn't been you know he's not the most technically gifted player uh, when you look at De Maria or Messi or some of the players for Argentina but I do think that he is a very good solid player he does have standard form which is a slight slight miss with this card I think if he did have unwavering form especially as a box to box this guy kind of interests me a lot because he reminds me of Goretzka he's not obviously as good defensively as Goretzka and you can't train him up because that's just his level so you will be kind of a little bit you know under pressure to get interceptions and stuff like that uh player skills he doesn't really have any that you could need defensively he's more of a player going forward so i do think that he is a he is a miss i mean don't be spinning just for this guy either in my opinion there's a lot of center midfielders out there that are better we've also got Gavardiol, uh who's a very solid player as well now the thing that interests me about this guy right is he's got a wavering form he's actually one of my hidden gems lads i'm going to be doing a video on him quite soon uh, a lot of people have been asking me for more defensive hidden gems now this is what you talk about when you have a player that maybe isn't one of, you know, the top 50 names in world football, uh, but has got a really good stats in certain areas. And yes, he is 92 overall. I think what boosts up his overall is his passing there. You don't really need to worry too much about passing. I'm more worried about tight possession and dribbling as a center back now because where the game is gone, it's gone that little bit slower and you need to be able to put your foot on the ball with your first touch. It's very important now. But this guy's stats are solid across the board. When you look at him as a left back, right? So forget about him being a center back. Look at him as, as a left back, right? So he's got the destroyer play card, okay? He's got 83 speed, 88 jumping, 86 physical contact. His stamina does let him down a little bit. So you'll need to watch that if you're, you know, used to playing with a, a marauding left back or full back. But he's also got defensive engagement 86. Tackling and aggression is really good. And he's able to play a little bit as well, man. And he's got a good height. Now, the thing that really sets this card apart away from his unwavering form are his player skills, lads, right? Not only does he have early crosser and long ball expert as his play style, not only does he have pinpoint crossing as his player skill, he also has interception blocker. He literally has every defensive player skill that you could possibly have. Man marking, interception, player skill, or player skill blocker, sliding tackle, aerial superiority, heading. Like, he's got the bad, he's got everything. This is probably one of the best cards I have seen in the game apart from his speed as a left back like if this guy had 85 acceleration just 85 acceleration or even if he had 85 stamina i think it'd be probably one of the best cards in the game because sometimes you can get a card that plays way above his stats but this guy also has the stats to back it up ball control passing ever everything is perfect for a left back you're obviously not going to be roberto carlos or david uh, you know david alaba or davies uh, but you do have the, the the solidness then of the defense, his height, his player skill, 
absolutely unbelievable and the unwavering form i'm definitely going to try to get him because he looks really really unique and he is going to feature hopefully in my player review for his standard card yeah he's, he's probably my pick of it we've also got in Nessary. Uh, this guy, he's kind of an interesting one as well. He's obviously going to be an aerial threat for you. I would definitely think get Collar. I will be doing a review on Collar quite soon as well. But yeah, he's got standard form, which is going to come into effect. He's got goal poacher. Uh, defensive engagement for a center forward. He's actually got 80, uh, which is very unusual and unique. Speed is good. Jumping is good. He's going to be your in-air threat, lads. But I definitely recommend you get to get Collar if you're looking for that. We've also got Gapko who Gapo, who's an absolutely insane player in the game as well. This guy's got a wavering form. He's only 23 years of age. Every player skill that you could possibly want, lads. And as well as the speed, the acceleration, and the dribbling and passing. He looks like the real deal. Now, he's down as a center forward here, as a deep line forward, which is an interesting choice compared to his standard card and compared to other cards that we have of him. So, uh, you look at his player skills, lads, right? He's got every dribbling skill you could possibly want. He's got a load of shooting skills and he's got passing skills, including pinpoint crossing and early crosser. So I would definitely be playing him on the wing uh, because his finishing is a little bit too low and his balance is a little bit too low unless you're playing a two-man strike force. If you want to play somebody off him, it does take a very, a very different play style to play with a deep line forward like this because... You know, it's more about like technicality or technique. It's more about like having Burkamp or Berbatov up front instead of like Romario or Romanegi. Like you can't really attack in every way possible. You know, it's not like a Swiss Army knife that will do all jobs. It This is kind of like a very unique play style. I think he could look really, really solid. But if you switch him out to the left wing and get those crosses in, you have the height to, win, to be able to win, you know, like aerial balls. He's not that bad in the air. And he's also got the stamina, speed, and dribbling to get up and down that left flank as well. So it's a very interesting card. I definitely like that card. We've also got rolls here. Center back, 82 defensive awareness. Yeah, I mean, he does have standard form. This is a pretty, pretty poor card as well because of the player skills. He's only got interception. You know, they've done him dirty here, I think. They definitely should have given him header and blocker uh, to make him a little bit more viable. He's got no AI play skill styles either, so you're not going to be having an early cross or passing or long range, anything really. Um, so yeah, a bit of a disappointment there for the Australian. We've also got Shakiri, who is a 90 overall hole player. Again, another interesting choice, you know, uh, speed is a bit low, low pass is a bit low, uh, obviously defensive stats aren't going to matter too much, if you are looking for a defensive right midfielder, you've got Cancelo, or you've got a couple of players like that that can get back and help out in defense, uh, Perisic or someone like that, either, either side, but yeah, balance is good, kick and power is good, all that sort of stuff, he's got really, really nice player skills as well, um, but, you know, he doesn't have early crosser there, but he does have pink point crossing. So it's a bit of a hit and a miss card, this one, lads. Uh, that would be my opinion on it. I think it's it's quite poor, actually, for what it should have been, especially as a 90 overall player. And now we've got Rashford. I think this this Rashford card is a big is a big miss, lads. Um, I do think he's got really nice player skills, and obviously you've got the kick and power, speed, and acceleration in the 90s. But as a left wing player... Uh, you know, I don't think that you could play him left wing because of that dribbling stat. Like, yeah, you get away with it for just pure speed, but then the stamina is going to come up against that uh, as well. And the balance is, a, you know, if you're playing him as a center forward and the finishing, he's just kind of neither, neither here nor there, lads. It's a bit of a disappointing card, especially when you get his standard card up to 99 kicking power and 99 speed. I think they missed the trick with that. We've also got the Arascata, Arascata, um, He's a super sub, so he's definitely going to be worth, you know, getting in your squad. This guy's got a wavering form as well. Uh, him and Gapo, Gap, Gakpo are definitely my picks of it. I know Sun is yet to come, but they are definitely the best two guys that have got the best player skills on wavering form. And of course, the speed acceleration. They've just got like all brilliant all round stats. And this guy can play central or he can play on left mid. This guy now would be a really good, you know, kind of defensive-minded left midfielder. And he's also got pinpoint crossing. He's also got speeding bullet. He's also got long-range expert, long ball expert, long-range shooting. Super sub is a huge one to bring him on in the second half. He's definitely a really good player as well. Very interesting player of the week this week. We've got Kai Havertz as well. This guy plays as well as a super sub. He has standard form, which holds his card back slightly. Um, I think Muller would probably be better to get except that this guy does have super subs so yeah i mean muller is a good player as well to have we'll be talking about him later on when we you know look at um 
look at a couple of you know we look at Maradona and stuff um but yeah very good player as well but just I don't think he's worth spinning for that's just my opinion on it lads he's just got not enough not enough going for him in this card. There's a lot of players there that are on standard for, standard cards that are better. And last but not least, we've got Son, the masked man there in the picture, which is quite cool. I'd love to see that in-game. Uh, again, you know what you're getting with Son, lads. One of, I would say, the top 15 players in the game now, unwavering form. Every player skill that you could possibly want for shooting and dribbling. Uh, he's down as a left winger, but I think you're playing him through the middle as a centre forward is, you know, going to be unbelievable. Uh, he's got 86 finishing, 93 speed, 89 acceleration. Uh, he's very similar to a Mario man in turning, you know, and, and running and gunning with him. Stamina is good. Offensive awareness is good. Dribbling is good. He is kind of the perfect center forward. I would not play him on the left flank, but he is probably the perfect center forward. If you don't have a center forward as good as that, he reminds me of Mbappe. And I've played a lot with Sun, lads. He's not for me. I just can't play with him. It's like Salah. I just can't play with Salah either. I know some people swear by Sun. But this card is insane if you don't already have a Sun card. So that is it, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back quite soon with some more videos. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.